Belichick, you saw him in the danger zone hoodie. What did that uh, freak you guys out? I don't know if that means uh, the cheating is going to get dangerous. Someone's going to die from his cheating. What does he do? What did he do? Put explosive in the spy cams? No <laughs> idea what that means. But talk about weather, Shaq. This should be factored in greatly, I think, before you pick the game. Although I don't know who it favors. Uh, zero degrees, one degree at kickoff. First of all, who does the cold and and, right. and ill conditions favor? Well, I wouldn't have an opinion on it if Josh Allen didn't uh, didn't announce to the world that or Bart Scott encouraged uh, Allen to engorge his wiener to offset yeah. cold toes or whatever. Like, what the hell? I, why, why is this coming up at all? Don't reveal that that's an issue for you when you're about to play Belichick and the Patriots. Right. Um, I think that the, uh, the evidence that everybody's using that the Bills are going to win is, did you see how great Josh Allen was? in the last game up in Foxborough. Mm -hmm. If the standard is that you have to be lights out superhuman to win the game, I, that that's troubling to me. That's a gigantic spot for mm -hmm. one guy to have to have to carry the day there. My only trepidation where the Patriots are concerned is are the Patriots good themselves? I like every, I I can create all sorts of narratives about the curse is supposed to that the bills, this is it. This is supposed to be their year. Now they're at home against the arch rival that, you know, is going to be a handful. My only concern is, uh -huh. is this Belichick team really anything special? I think they have enough to, uh, to cover that. So I'm taking the Patriots plus the four. It's a tough one. I, uh, all right, there's two ways to look at it. Well, there's a million ways to look at it. And I'm throwing out all the trends. I'm a trend guy, but all these playoff trends for Belichick are with Brady, and it's a different team, and you can't go by, yeah, of course, on the road, in the playoffs, they have a good against the spread or whatever. But um, here's a couple of things. Rookie quarterbacks in the playoffs, the last 10 starts, 2-8, and eight, 12 touchdowns, 17 giveaways. That's tough for uh, Mac Jones. Uh, but I'll read you a, a, a good one. This is a good one. I know you like this, Martin. Underdogs facing division rivals last nine playoff games. Eight and one against the spread. Ooh. Again, a plus 12 turnover differential. Doesn't make sense to me. Eight and one against the spread. I have a feeling you're taking the Bills, though, Martin. Absolutely not. No, really? no, there's wow. no, no chance. I, no, I'm taking the New England Patriots. If rookie quarterbacks two and eight outright, they'll be three and eight outright mm -hmm. after this. Uh, let me see. Is anybody else who's a rookie? No. After the, yeah, after this, they'll be three and eight. Uh, after this wild card weekend, like mm -hmm. and Dave, I understand you. You know you. Uh, while you while you discover women late in life, you have you you have populated the earth uh, quite well, right? You, you, you <laughs> may not you may not have have ever had. Well, I was aware of them. They 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 apparently either were unaware or just flat out uninterested in what they were looking at. So yes, but, but either way, you're correct. The I am little much blue performer. pill. Right. Initially, is designed to improve circulation everywhere. It just so happened what they're doing in the matter is where the blood is going. Now, mm. as somebody who also has poor circulation but no pill usage, I, uh, I was I'm just going to say, what are you admitting? No, like, no, like, what are you telling us? No, it's not that cold didn't. out here, Martin. No. Yeah. But as I lived 10 years in Detroit, in those uh. days, when you go outside and it's 10 degrees, your feet fall off. Yeah, it feels like your hands are falling off. I don't know. I couldn't grip a pencil going mm -hmm. into math class. That's what she said. Out. Yeah. Talking, no. But I, I don't know how Josh <laughs> Allen's going to be. Somebody literally has, can't grip a football, can't throw, or can't. Like, he's not going to be able to operate in the same way. I read all those quotes. He doesn't seem too excited about being in the cold. And uh, my biggest concern about the Patriots, like you said, about the Patriots being good, defensively, they're going to need to make a stop. And they didn't the last time they had Josh Allen. Josh Allen split J.C. Jackson and uh, I think it was Judon right. to get the first down. And they didn't last week against the that Dolphins. That was a great and play. They, they needed a stop, and they didn't get the stop because that's what's going to win the game for the Patriots is the defense. And yeah, They, they definitely Jones, peaked yeah. a month ago, no question about it. Everybody was very excited about the Patriots. I think my Cowboy, that Cowboys loss actually kick-started their month run of uh, success there. But um, – I, I like the under more than anything. Couldn't you see this being a 2019 type of game? Maybe 2016. I think there's adjusted I unders do. you could take, like under 34 and a half, get you almost three to one, uh, more than three to one odds. Um, I think we could go a while before seeing a touchdown. I also think we haven't mentioned them. 
But Damian Harris is a huge cog in this game. He had 214 oh my God, you, yards, you took, you, you four beat me touchdowns. Too, yeah, yeah that, well, you could jump on, but four touchdowns against this Bills team. He's going to have to do it. I don't uh, think that they'll have a plan where, you know, where Mac Jones throws three times, but it is going to be run heavy for the Patriots, right? That's what they're going to have to do to control clock and keep this close, I think, Check. The voodoo of Belichick is twofold because, uh, you know, he's mythologized to the point where we talk ourselves into some, uh, you know, high concept that he's going to try to pull when, in fact, what he does is what is right there in front of us. What's he going to do? He's going to try to do what won in the game when they threw the ball three times. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to beat the hell out of the Bills. And I, I don't care what Justin, but with Jordan Poyer or anybody else is saying on that side, like that was a rude question that they wow. asked us after the game. Like, are we man enough or whatever? Like they know the reason they don't like that aside from it being rude is that they know that, that that is a, a plausible result here too. They are going to have to, then they will do everything they can to stop the Patriots from running on them and force Mac Jones. But can they, I don't know. Damian Harris and they, they, that this Patriots team, back in March when free agency started, was structured to do exactly what they're going to try to do, which is beat the hell out of you, grind you, high-flying bills or otherwise, Chiefs, this is what we're going to do. We're going to old school you. I think it comes to fruition for at least one week. doesn't mean Mac Jones is going to the Super Bowl this year, but I think that they can – they can. Uh, really break the hearts of the people in yeah. Western New York. The Mac Jones can't throw three interceptions and win this game. But right. uh, aside from that, I, I don't remember. No, I don't remember. It just hasn't happened that Belichick has relied on a running back more than I think he is going to rely on Damian Harris. Um, uh, my boy, I may, may have, uh, may have hinted uh, where we're going with our fantasy team here. Baby face. <laughs> let, let's get the, you guys weren't paying attention, right? All right. So I say 2019 Martin, you think it's low scoring too? I don't, th- I don't think there's a lot of points in this. I do think it's low scoring. Well, the only way I think it's not low scoring is if Buffalo wins going away, mm. right? Because like the way that New England, New England's recipe to winning is is keeping Josh Allen off of the field, right? Making sure those feet stay cold on the bench. I read he's a one sock guy. I'm a three sock guy. Just uh, just you for are. clarification. Check. Everybody's curious. Uh, in the cold, I gotta go. I gotta go triple layers on the socks. Is that right? right. Three socks. Dude, it's fucking cold. It's, I don't I like know, but being at some cold. point you need new shoes, right? I mean, uh, two, three socks adds a size to your shoe, right? You get, I do. You have big shoes I, well, for that those occasions. Well, see the Tims right here; those go thir- These go about thirteen uh, and a half. Where everything else, like sneakers, will be a size thirteen. Get Tory Holt back. I yeah. like. It. Uh, <laughs> but, I will uh, say with uh, with the Viagra thing or whatever it is, like if we see the Bill Center jump forward like uh, five times in a row, first five, we'll, we'll know something's up here. Right? No, I do think it's low scoring because I, I think it's low scoring, and I think New England do short passing and running the ball is going to be able to control a lot of the clock, and that's kind of like my Patriots path to victory. Uh-huh. All right, I, I'm concerned about Marty's low T score. I mean, like, it, you know, like we got to get him some of that Frank Thomas business there. Like the ladies will like it too. I, you know, what are we going to do? Eugenics total T? No, it happens. fine. Look, fine. Look, I'm fine. It everywhere happens. else. I, just it don't put me, in, don't it, put me I, in sub-zero temperatures and I'll be okay. I don't want to so it's myself. To worry about. You know, they say it happens to every guy. It doesn't, it doesn't happen to every guy, but I understand it happens to a lot of guys. And there's no shame in that, Marty. Hmm. And if you need... A donor, I, I, that's how much I think of you. I will happily. Oh, that's nice. See, eh? I will happily <laughs> provide some of my manhood if it if it's needed to. Uh, that's great, a lady love of yours. So I, that's an offer. That's that is just a standing offer. You Can know? you think about it? Oh, yeah, standing too, no less. All right, he's even getting specific. <laughs> 